I thought that would keep uh, up very well yesterday. I think that... Uh, Did you see the Tribune editorial? No. It says you've said exactly the right amount. Anybody who wants you to say more is simply really saying they want you to say something different. It's aimed at the times. Uh, I don't... Uh, I haven't thought that one through, but uh, my right feeling on. is I don't want to say too much about it. Uh, uh, I think that... Uh, Russ that you, a statement over the weekend. I think our talks a good deal of the time hem us in and tie us down. And uh, uh, I think that uh, they quote back, uh, every newspaper man wants you to say anything you'll say because the more you talk, the more he's got. Uh, then when you don't... Uh, if you if you look at McNamara's statements about uh, we are bringing back the security guards because they guard them as well as we can, and we send out a battalion, we get into trouble, yep. and uh, that we're going to be out of there in '65. Yep. The interpretations in some of our statements may look just as bad, and uh, uh, I think that we ought to take this general position. Uh, we ought to make available to the press everything that we can in the national interest that does injure Taylor and Westmoreland and conduct of the war. I don't think it necessarily has to be done by the president or should be done by the president. I think it ought to be done by McNamara and Rust. They're all expendable. Uh, and I think that uh, when your president goes down the brink, everybody goes down. And, and I don't agree that we've got to... Uh, we've got to... Uh, 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 let uh, uh, Doug Tyker, uh, Roland Evans kind of direct our activities. I'm a little afraid of their judgments in these things, and so I'm going to exercise my own, and that's going to be a great restraint, and I'm going to try to have everybody on board, and I hope that you keep those minutes. Uh, I'm not quite sure what Mansfield's position finally was. You were not here, but as I recall it, he said, Mr. President, I feel that this is a very dangerous and uh, uh, undesirable adventure. But uh, in light of what everybody said here tonight, I will support it. Now, something along that line. That was the tenor of it, as I got it from my ears. Let me check. But I think, it's pretty, I think it's pretty important to view the Stevensons and the, uh, the dissents, uh, the McCones, anybody that might get off board later. Uh, very carefully, and uh, uh, so we don't get a government that's divided and uh, so forth. That's a great danger we face here. And uh, yesterday we had uh, three or four senators speaking against us uh, in a general tone. Signington was uh, worried, and Church was worried, and McGovern was worried, and I don't know, one or two other Democrats. Uh, Dirksen calls up, and he loves that. He's sicking them to yeah. attack us, so he so can show. Your friend. So yeah. he can do what I did with Good Eisenhower. Tactics. Good tactics. He's 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 he's, uh, he's my leader, like I was Eisenhower's. And the only difference is I was majority leader, and I had that responsibility. And he's minority, but uh, he's taking advantage of uh, of Bert Wheeler influence on Mike, and and he's using it for all it's worth. He called me last night. He's very pleased. And, so we have to watch that, and I think I would point that out to these boys. I would point out that Bert Wheeler and uh, 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 Gerald and I and a few of them had their own views on World War II, and uh, that uh, we have some of that influence still hanging on now. And Dirksen is making the most of it, although Dirksen has flipped 180 degrees. He, he used to be the biggest isolation. He liked Vandenberg. Okay. Right. Bye.